Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at the importance of DNA replication, DNA replication in eukaryotes and prokaryotes, and then we'll finish with a summary. So replicating DNA or making a copy of itself is a really important process found in all organisms, and it's very important in order to pass on the information that is encoded within it. So DNA is a type of molecule found in all cells which contains the genetic information or instructions which are used to just build up the whole organism. So this is the development and the growth of an organism and how the organism functions through its life in surviving. So you can think of DNA as this double helix molecule. So we won't go into the structure in this video, but its functions can be divided into two main types. First of all, it has a structural role and the instructions contained in DNA help us to build up our physical traits as an organism. So it tells us the fact that we have, for example, two eyes. It tells us, for example, that we have irises and pupils and the fact that they're in a certain shape. They develop in the head, not the leg. So it tells us all the features of our structural general appearance. So as well as this, DNA has a functional role as well. And the functional role refers to the fact that the DNA encodes for the buildup of proteins and these proteins can come in many different shapes and types, for example, enzymes or carrying proteins which help us survive. For example, proteins like hemoglobin, which help us to carry oxygen around the blood so that cells have energy in order to do things. So DNA contains the instructions for all of the body to grow in the right way and carry out the right processes in order for us to function. So it's a very important molecule and the information that's contained in DNA must be passed on. Every single cell in the body needs a full set of our DNA so any body cell taken from an organism should have the complete set of DNA. And this DNA is stored in the nucleus. And the nucleus can be found as this membrane bound organelle inside every cell. Eukaryotic cells have a nucleus, whereas prokaryotic cells don't have a nucleus. So during the lifetime of an organism, cells must divide and grow. So they divide and increase their numbers. They're important for reproduction and also replacing old cells or damaged cells, for example, during repair or wound repair. So for humans, for example, we start off as one single cell, and this cell then divides and multiplies, forming four and then eight, etc., until we end up with a whole embryo and a fetus, which grows into a full organism. So because we start with one cell, that cell has to divide into all of the other cells, which make up all our different organs, all the different tissues and everything in our body. So this one cell must have 100% of the DNA within it. And then all of that DNA has to be passed on to every next generation of cells. So for this, DNA replication is very important. Whenever a cell divides into two new cells, both of these are daughter cells, and they must contain the full set of DNA. So we start with an original cell here. So this is the parent cell. And both of the daughter cells that are made during the splitting or the mitosis must have each a set of DNA because then otherwise, if they didn't have a set of DNA, then you'd be missing DNA at each generation of mitosis, and the cells down the line would end up with only a fraction of the complete set of instructions. It's almost like if you were trying to sell a piece of furniture to someone with the instruction manual, if you didn't give them all of the pages of the booklet, then they wouldn't be able to use the whole piece of equipment. So you have to make sure that all the instructions are passed down every time. So all the DNA must be inherited. And because we need to inherit the DNA every time we divide a cell, we have to replicate the DNA or make a copy of it because the original cell needs to keep it and the new cells have to have some as well. We can't just have one copy of DNA through the whole body. It would be too far away from all of the cells. So the DNA has to multiply itself or replicate itself with the two daughter cells. And then if this cell was to divide, it needs to replicate itself again. So you end up with every cell having a complete set of DNA. So when does the DNA replication take place? Well, it takes place in an important part of the cell cycle called interphase. And this is the phase just before the cells start to divide. So remember, the cell cycle is basically the sequence of events that cells always go through through their life. The main stage is interphase. And this is basically the stage of the cell cycle where the cell is not dividing, but it's carrying out other functions. For example, this includes the S phase where DNA is replicated. So this is where our DNA is going to be copied. So now we've talked about why DNA replication is important, let's talk about how it actually occurs for eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells. So for prokaryotes and eukaryotes, the storage of DNA is slightly different. In eukaryotes, DNA is stored as a continuously long linear molecule, and we call them chromosomes, and then these are found in the nucleus. So let's just have a quick overview here. So we've got a cell, 
and we have the nucleus, which is obviously surrounded by a nuclear envelope. And in the nucleus, we have 23 chromosomes. So this is for a human. Other organisms have different numbers of chromosomes, but we'll say 23 for the sake of a human. So this here would be one chromosome. And what a chromosome is, is it's lots and lots of DNA that's been wound around each other, compacted, coiled up, like a piece of string that's been wrapped around itself once, and then around itself again, and then round and round and round, until eventually all that DNA is packaged into a chromosome. And obviously if you were to unravel this, you would get just a long, long strand of DNA. So DNA is obviously a very long molecule. The reason we call it linear is because it's from one end to the other. So each chromosome has one end, and then there'll be another end down at the bottom there. And that will be the same for every single chromosome in the cell. So it's not circular. It doesn't join up. This end of the DNA won't join up to that end. They're all completely linear molecules. So before a cell divides, every chromosome that we have needs to copy itself. So for example, this might be chromosome number 13. This is one chromosome. And therefore, this chromosome needs to replicate itself. So now what we have are two sister chromatids, and these are identical to each other. And what will happen is during the cell splitting is that one chromatid will go into one cell, the other chromatid will go into the other cell, and then you have two cells, again with this starting position, so they have one of each chromosome. Eukaryotes don't only have linear DNA, we do actually have some circular DNA found in the mitochondria, if you're an animal, and in chloroplasts, if you are a plant. So the mitochondria are organelles that are dealing with respiration, chloroplasts are found in plant cells and they deal with photosynthesis. And the DNA here found is circular, i.e. one end joins up to the other end. So as well as our linear DNA in the nucleus, the circular DNA has to be replicated as well. Because if we're forming new cells, we have to form cells with mitochondria and their own set of organelles with which to carry out these functions. And therefore those organelles need to get their own copy of DNA. So the circular DNA has to be replicated as well. In prokaryotes, it's a slightly different setup. In prokaryotes, the DNA is found as a long circular loop of DNA with lots of circular strands called plasmids. So if we were to look at, for example, a bacterial cell or a bacterium, the main DNA found in the cell is not in a nucleus. It's found as a long circular loop of DNA, and we call this nucleoid, kind of referring to just the region of genetic material. So again, the most important thing about prokaryotes is that there's no nucleus. And as well as this, we have other parts of DNA which are in circles, circular loops, and these are very important in developing medicines. These are called plasmids. So we have the main DNA and we have lots of plasmids as well, and both of them are circular. Again, all of these circular strands of DNA must be copied before the prokaryotic cell divides into two new cells. So that goes for the main DNA and the plasmids. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are looking for an amazing A-level biology resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face, and together, let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.